Hello, I am Luann Kincaid, Public Information Officer for Caldwell County, and welcome to another edition of Caldwell County Today. We are here at the Caldwell County Economic Development Commission, and we are here to talk about the next Caldwell is hiring. It is the 8th. Caldwell is hiring event that is going to be coming up next week as we tape this and so I want to give you the details on that first of all and then we're going to get into what all is going to be happening there and some other things that have been going on uh, around the EDC and exactly in the EDC building. So it is again the 8th Caldwell is hiring. It's going to be held on Thursday April the 3rd from 2 to 5 30 p.m. at the J.E. Broyhill Civic Center which is of course on Highway 321 in Lenore and um, we we hope it, as many folks that want to will come out. Now, I have with me today, as always, she's here talking about this, is Deborah Murray, who is Executive Director of the Cobble County EDC. And then we also have Rick Shu, who is the Director of Employer Services at the Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute, NC Works. Now, that is also located here in the same building as the Economic Development Con Commission. It is on the back lower level. So, Deborah, thank you. Rick, thank you. So let's talk about this. Uh, Deborah, I'm going to start with you. This is the eighth Caldwell is hiring. This is eighth Caldwell is hiring. Tell me a little bit about it. What else is going to be happening at this one? Well, it'll be very much like the ones we've always had. Uh, we hope to have, uh, we do have already a wider variety of employers than we've ever had before, a wider variety of job opportunities than we've ever had before. Uh, and we still, at this taping, are a week and a half out. So mm -hmm. we're very excited about the kinds of opportunities that Caldwell County folks will have uh, access to. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the moment, it's, we're thinking we're going to have around two dozen employers. They will be folks from our immediate area. And we're seeing a very uh, good uh, variety of skill levels required. We're seeing entry-level positions. We're seeing very high-level, high-paying jobs as well with lots of education and everything in between. Mm -hmm. So we're excited that the community is making such good use of this event and coming to rely on it as part of their uh, employment process mm -hmm. for, for Caldwell County. Because this, again, as I've said four or five times now, it's the eighth one, so it's obviously a success. Folks are getting jobs from this event, right? Yeah. Yes, they do. Sometimes I used to say nobody gets married on the first date, but we had because and tell people not to expect to be hired that day. But we actually do have people who get hired that day, so I don't say that any longer. We also have people who are hired two, three months after the event as well because they come prepared, loaded with resumes to distribute to the employers. Sometimes those jobs that they're looking for are not available that day, but they might be available, who knows, in another month or two, and those employers remember that. They remember good impressions. They remember the people who come through the line, and uh, they they remember that they might want to make sure that they hold on to that resume for just that very reason. Mm -hmm. And that actually brings up one of the things that we wanted to talk about, uh, about the Caldwell is hiring event and how people do prepare. Because this is an opportunity, the actual event, for folks not just to send in a resume, for a job opening they hear about as you said they can actually get in front of possibly someone that they would be talking to if they were lucky enough to get in an interview so how should folks prepare what should they come ready to do they should come prepared with a resume if they have one but if you don't have one just having something with your information on it and a little bit of job history mm -hmm. is very good that you can leave behind we'll give them an opportunity when they come in to fill out a registration form so that employers will be able to get back in touch with them at another time but if they have another piece of paper that accentuates just exactly the way they want to be remembered that's a good thing uh, we also suggest that they they come uh, dressed for the part, so to speak. Uh, you don't have to wear uh, a tuxedo uh, in order to be remembered, but you would want to come so you'd be taken seriously. Mm -hmm. um, and, and remembering that your first impression is going to be the lasting one. Uh, we would tell folks, if you have a daycare issue or whatever, try not to bring children. Please don't bring children because it's a long if you're there an hour or two hours, it's a long time to have a child with you that takes your focus off of interviewing for a job. Mm -hmm. uh, the expectation that you're going to have a 30-minute interview uh, is, is, is not 
the way to come into this. You know you're going to get a few minutes of FaceTime with the people who are hiring, and they want to be able to write your name down so they can call you back. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is all about. Mm -hmm. So and so let's talk a little bit about that. When folks arrive that day, mm -hmm. uh, again, the hours are from 2 to 5.30 p.m., um, what sh what's the, going to be the process that's going to happen? Now, I'm going to bring you in here in a minute, Rick, because we're going to talk about how folks that can prepare with NC Works. But uh, for right now, Deborah, let's go through just a, a, an agenda, sort of. What's going to happen that day? They'll come in the downstairs of the uh, J.E. Hill Civic Center. If they've not ever been to one of these before, they'll go to the uh, auditorium, and that'll be where they'll fill out a, uh, a form that says who they are, and that form we'll talk about in a few minutes will be used to enter them into the NC Works system mm -hmm. uh, the next day or two after the event. Uh, then they'll, we'll also give them a list of who the employers are that are there that day, uh, we'll be able to tell them what kinds of people they're looking for so that when they get upstairs where all the employers are, they can pick and choose wisely where to spend their time standing in line for the ones that have jobs that will be most uh, well suited to them. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they can stay as long as they want. We encourage people to go to every employer who's there uh, if they have the time once they've seen the ones that are uh, have are looking for people who are have the skill sets that they do mm -hmm. so again as Deborah said one of the ways to prepare is to to have some either a resume or some kind of a piece of paper that has this d distinguishes them uh, or describes your particular skill set NC works can help with that now again we're going to talk in a little bit about how the EDC and the community colleges NC works works together uh, in a partnership now and hopefully we're going to be doing some shows about that in the future too but for now Rick how can uh, it, first of all tell how NC works can help folks and then we'll do we'll talk about NC works in general our, our career center is here for you to to come into the center we can help you with that resume as Deborah pointed out that is your impression that you're going to leave with that employer and so you want to make sure that the impression that you leave is accurate that it, it outlines your skills uh, that it shows that employer for their future reference they may not necessarily remember your face but they're always going to have that resume in hand and the notes that they take uh, so we can help you prepare that resume or uh, talk to you how to present yourself to that employer in a way that is going to make you stand out in the future mm -hmm. uh, things like not wearing pajamas to this event I mean uh, I mean and you, not you're laughing but it happens it has happened. and uh, I don't know how many times I'm out talking with employers and they say that they have people show up for job interviews wearing their pajamas and that that isn't an impression that you want to leave because with employers they're looking for key hard skills or those you know skills that you need to learn but they're also looking for soft skills you know your personality you know, how you uh, uh, present yourself to uh, other employees or even to the public especially if it's a customer st service type of job you know all those things they are looking at that and so a lot of times you can say a lot without saying a word Mm -hmm. And you can actually come by NC Works. And again, we want to tell you that the, it's Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute, North Carolina NC Works. It's located in the back lower level of the Caldwell County EDC, which, as most of you know, and if you don't, I'm going to tell you, is right beside J. E. Broil Hill Civic Center on Highway 321. So, and you can come to NC Works mm -hmm. up until the day before the event, which again is next Thursday, April the 3rd, um, as we tape this. So, Give me a general overview of, of NC Works now, because this is kind of a conglomerate of different agencies, and you, you partner with the EDC. To tell me a little bit about it. Well, the NC Works Career Plan and Placement Center is just an integration of all the services that had been available in the past, but they've been enhanced. Uh, this is a, a, a program that is coming from the state. Uh, we uh, let me just add that we were the tied, uh, or we were the uh, along with the uh, uh, another uh, organization. We were first in the state state to be an NC Work Certified Center. Okay. So we're proud of that. Um, but uh, what this gives to you as a job seeker or to an employer is all the resources in one place. Uh, we come together and uh, compile the resources that we have. We have the new software that was introduced last August. It's called the NC Works. You can find it at www.ncworks.gov. We'll, we'll put it on the it, screen. It's a great, great tool that uh, allows you to uh, create a resume inside a, a 
a database. Uh, you can do assessments. You can do, uh, there's, a, there's a great tool on there. It's called a Virtual Recruitment that will allow you to put your information into the system. And when a job comes up that matches your skills anywhere in the state, it will send you a text. It will send you an email. Uh, those are things that were not there in the past that are there now. And it has done a lot to take the right people to the right job. And that's what we're trying to do. And so if you come into the center, these are things that you can do at your, at your own home, at your own convenience. But if you come into the center, we can make sure that you do it the best way you can, that it is in there right and mm -hmm. the descriptions are in there the way the employers would like to see them. So when you talk about the different resources that have been combined together, let's talk about some of what that is. Of course, it's the community college's career planning mm -hmm. services is there. Also, folks know it as the Employment Security mm -hmm. Commission or the Unemployment Office. It's how most people know it. But it's, it's actually got another name, and that's Division of Workforce Absolutely. Solutions. That's the name of it now. It actually is uh, based there now as well. Well, mm -hmm. we're working together. Uh, instead of being in competition, we're, we have formed a team, and uh, this is going to provide you great service. So, uh, you know, I hear it uh, that they're closing down the ESC office or the unemployment office, as most people want to call it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not the case. Uh, what Caldwell County is gaining is a more enhanced system. Mm -hmm. uh, we are working closer together with all the organizations, and I think it's showing up in our in our unemployment rate uh, and our the amount of people that's getting jobs. Uh, the college is coming into play is because there is a lot of jobs out there that require uh, some short-term skills and some long-term skills and so the college is partnering with these agencies so that we can provide you with that training uh, as efficient as quickly as we can so Deborah and you and you we talked about this before we started taping um, the partnership here explain how this part because you're kind of all in one building now <laughs> so explain the partnership some. well uh, we work with industry mm -hmm. so we know what industry says that it needs and we will talk to them about how they're going to grow in the future and um, most often the greatest challenge that we have uh, and it's across the country it's not just here in North Carolina or in Caldwell County is how do we develop our workforce so that we can maximize our human capital mm -hmm. and we have a great secret weapon which is this collaboration and this group of folks who are able to sit down and talk to the employers say what do you need and we'll hand them off at different times to folks like Rick mm -hmm. and then they'll send their folks out and talk to them how do we customize training for you how do we get folks through the door that do exactly what you need to do how do we get folks do through the door who will train somewhere to do those things that you need them to do most recently we've talked a lot and you heard him reference we need mm -hmm. people with PLC training well I don't even know what a PLC is but I don't either I do know that if you're in the maintenance business that you can't be a jack-of-all-trades like you used to mm -hmm. you have to have uh, certificate trainings sometimes and you have to have real skills that are based on what the job requires today it's not something that you can do as a hobby any longer mm -hmm. and so PLC training uh, will provide someone if, if you say you have it someone like wood grain millwork will want to hire you immediately mm -hmm. because that's valuable to them mm -hmm. what we want to do and what Rick's group is doing is providing that training and they're putting together courses that are unique to a group of employers in in our community they have put together an industrial sewing institute or a program mm -hmm. so that whether it's apparel or furniture uh, pillows whatever they will have folks who know how to do that uh, our, our workforce has changed but so have the needs of the industries changed and where you might have been a sewer five years ago ten years ago the requirements are different as well mm -hmm. so this is a way for you to refresh those skills uh, or to learn them if that's something that you would like to do and they've, they've developed a number of different programs just for uh, the businesses who need them which gives us an opportunity uh, to employ the people who are here in Caldwell County uh, another thing to, to kind of take knowledge of is this the unemployment rate yes is going down but we still believe that there are people who are out there who would come back in the workforce if they knew that the training was there the assistance was there to help them uh, retool 
and and go back in and maybe do what they used to do, only better, or do something new. Mm -hmm. And these are the kinds of programs that will help them do that. Um, a low unemployment rate doesn't mean that we give up and focus less on uh, the unemployed or workforce development. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got to maintain a very high priority on that so that our workforce remains competitive for the employers we want to draw to the area. And so when Deborah was talking about um, the training programs that you guys are developing, she specifically mentioned the industrial sewing. But we're not when we're talking. When you Deborah said, you know, you might need to come back in and refresh skills. This is not long term training, right? right? It's not long term, and and the way this you know generally works is there is a need for sewers out there. If you look at any job ads that's out there, there's mm -hmm. uh, pretty much if you have some sewing skills, uh, especially the skills that they're looking for, then you're almost guaranteed a job. And so we pulled these industries together. We sat down at the table. We talked about what they needed. They contributed to write in the curriculum, uh, so they they have buy-in. In fact, uh, they are loaning us machines at the college to use to train people on. Uh, the class, uh, the curriculum is still being uh, put together now. It should be available sometime in mid-April. Uh, would probably last somewhere around three months. So in a three-month period, you can go from unemployed to to almost a guarantee of a job. And now I say almost because again, there's a lot of other things that come into play there. You got to learn the uh, the skill plus soft skills come into place but at least we can provide you with the information that you will need to get a job mm -hmm. um, and so uh, you know it's just not the college doing something and then sending you out your own we have employers there that uh, also have partnered with us that are willing to to give you a shop Mm -hmm. And what we're getting, what we're uh, talking about here is the next Caldwell is hiring event. It's the eighth Caldwell is hiring. It's going to be next Thursday, April the third, from two to five thirty p.m. at the J.E. Broyhill Civic Center here in Lenore. That's where it's always been held. Now, uh, there's some things that folks can do at NC Works that will actually automatically get them in quicker. Is that right, Deborah? Or sort of bypass that orientation, right? Well, we used to do a fast track thing mm -hmm. and Which was uh, a series, of, a classes series of classes. And now, if you want to get a jump on the gun, then this go around, what you should do is uh, go to the NC Work Center and fill out your application there and spend a little bit of advanced time have, working with someone so that you have the best shot. Uh, here, even though it's 10 days out, and the, you can do that all the way up until the last minute and still improve your first presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, once you get that filled out, then you will be able to uh, circumvent the orientation program. They'll give you a name tag that'll get you in, uh, and you can go straight into the Caldwell is hiring upstairs where the employers will be ready to see folks starting at uh, 2 o'clock mm -hmm. on Thursday. Mm -hmm. And then once your information is in the NC Works program, it's there, right? It's, it's there. And, you know, you're, you're gaining valuable information because, I mean, you have, we have expert resume writers there. I mean, not everybody is an expert at writing resumes. If you're an expert at writing resumes, maybe you need to do that for a living. Mm -hmm. uh, but if, if you haven't been unemployed for a while or uh, maybe you need some brushing up on your interview skills or how to present yourself, those are the type of things that we can help you with. And, you know, a lot of people think, well, I really don't need that. Well, you know, things change. Uh, the industry change and what employers look for change. Resume changes. You know, the resume trend is constantly changing. So what you need on your resume has changed. And so those are the type of things that we can keep you uh, informed on. And, and get you assistance that you need. And as I said before, it's a collaboration of more than one agency. So uh, when you come in, we can help you not only prepare for Carl Willis hiring, we can, we can uh, talk to you about maybe labor market information, maybe about a future career, or maybe at Carl Willis hiring, uh, you see a company that you really, really want to go to work for and you find out that there's skills that you need. We can tell you what you need to do to, to gain those skills. Uh, we, we can help you with scholarships. We can help you with the uh, Workforce Investment Act is also located with us that can uh, help provide you uh, monies to, to go back to school with. So mm -hmm. things like that are, are things that you can find in the center. It's like a, a one-stop shop, I guess you would say. One-stop shop. And again, it's in the uh, the lower back. You go into the back of the EDC and it's on the lower level. You enter it back there. Now, Deborah, one thing we've not, we've been talking about the unemployed, mm -hmm. but we haven't talked about the underemployed. Those are folks that already have a job, but maybe want to change or move up or whatever. So, and, and and this event, the Caldwell Hiring is Hiring event, is for them as well. 
Yes, it is. And I would tell you, um, just the same as I would for NC Works, you don't need to look at this as this is an event for the down and out. Mm -hmm. uh, we encourage people who are making job changes, career changes, to come to this. Uh, and one of the things you can do, you can go to our website, the EDC's uh, Facebook page, and you can look and see between now and the event what the uh, most current information is on who's coming, uh, as far as employers go and what kinds of folks they're looking for. So you'll be able to look and see if there is that particular job you've been looking for mm -hmm. uh, that's there. But for someone who is making career change or uh, would just like to see what's out there, the, between the combination of this event and NC Works, you really have the opportunity to go from anything in an entry level position for almost any company all the way up to a high level managerial uh, chief operating officer, chief financial officer kind of position mm -hmm. uh, if they're available. And you also have the ability to cast the net in as small an area as you would like. You could say, I want to work within 15 minutes of Lenore. Or you can say, I want the best job for me in the whole state. Uh, and NC Works allows you to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and I would also like to, to add that all of this is for free. Uh, all of what we're talking about has no cost to it to anyone who wants to come in, sit down, spend the time to do this, as well as employers have the opportunity to go in. If they're doing a search for an individual with high-level skills, NC Works is the place to, uh, you know, to register that job opening so that they can do that. I watched a demonstration uh, statewide uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I was so impressed with this new system that uh, they've come up with. So we're really very excited.